Crystal, everyone. Thank you for joining today. We have a very exciting um, screening and with the filmmakers are joining us themselves today, uh, Tenu Mongchala and Golo Chikmila. So thank you so much for coming on today. Um, so I think many of you guys know, or I think many of us have maybe seen the film a long time ago and may not have seen it recently or are viewing it for the first time. So it is a 24 minute um, documentary and it follows uh, Tuna Mongshala and Glojimila as they go to Tibet uh, in, during the 08 Olympics and they interview 108 folks, uh, Tibetans living inside Tibet, about um, their you know, perceptions of the Beijing hosting the Olympics in 2008. Um, and so we'll have a little discussion about that to begin and we'll talk about the 08 Olympics, 2022 Olympics, um, and then we'll sort of go into like what can folks do in the future go into the screening and then we'll do like a Q&A with the folks here. And I know we've collected a couple of questions from the public, so we can also share those as well. Um, but first I wanted to introduce, um, firstly, Tuna Wong Chinla, who um, was actually just uh, nominated for the uh, Nobel Peace Prize, which is amazing. So congrats Tuna Wong Chinla um, on that feature. Um, so he was nominated by um, Rasmus Hassan, who was a Green Party spokesperson and a biologist. Um, and so he said when he nominated Mongshala that he represents like the memory of the Tibetans' obvious demands for human rights. And Tere Mongshala is also the recipient of the International Press Freedom Award from the Committee to Protect Journalists um, in New York, New York City in 2012 for his brave portrayal of Tibetans suffering um, inside Tibet. And um, Tuna Mongshala will share a little bit more about it, but he's also been traveling recently um, to a lot of European countries, urging them to boycott the 2022 Winter Olympics. Um, and then next, um, a little bit about Golo Jigmala. He was detrimental in assisting Tuna Mongshala in creating uh, Leaving Far Behind in 2008. And so um, just a little bit of like brack on that, like when riots and protests were erupting in um, leading up to Olympic Games that took place in Beijing in 2008, uh, the movie tapes were smuggled out of Plaza for safekeeping, and so because of that, both Bolo uh, Jingmala and uh, Tuna Mongshala were arrested uh, in March, and they were jailed for completing the film and screening it. Um, but we were able to get uh, they were able to get it smuggled out of the capital of Plaza and screen it to journalists uh, prior to the 08 Games, and so they were sentenced to imprisonment where they were tortured, beaten, and abused by um, prison authorities, and so. It's really, really amazing to have two human rights defenders here with us today. So a really big um, thank you and uh, hello for you guys for joining us. Um, we also have, we here with us, uh, a translator who will be translating from Tibetan to English um, for the Nguong Chilang Go Chimila. So I wanted to start uh, by opening up the floor to Nguong Chila and talking a little bit about um, uh, sort of the inspiration of the film and like the process that they went about in uh, collecting the footage. Ah, tambo de la joa tongro anche la ins tua de karin la na tambo kiran ke niente soe ki da semshi do de kan des chi wa ta ni niente soe ki jerum te tis mo tu chen tu ves. Tao yin de lo so. Ani ta thomer dino la ni shu jin ken ki da bo rong zen to tu chu pa ki. あの、その様子に、あの、ジョンチナンバ様の戦術でどうも思うよ。あの、トランマズヨン、ジャギトラニンドチマテハジンゲ。あ、ガウチョン。あ、タンガロイナ、あ、ポーキーナンギタ、あ
uh, I want to express my uh, warm regard to all the participants today from SFT. Uh, I really appreciate your presence here today. Uh, so I want to begin with my story. Um, this uh, film, as you all know, was um, made prior to 2008 Olympics. And uh, just talking about my own personal uh, life story, uh, I came from a farming community. Uh, my uh, grandfather passed away when he was 54 uh, in, in Chinese prison. And uh, I, I, at the time, was very, very young, very, was very young that I did not have a memory of him. And also, my, from my, my mother's side, four of their family members were stuffed to death uh, because of uh, Chinese occupation. And uh, I also personally actively involved in, in the movement. Uh, a very early age, uh, from 1992 to uh, 2007, I, I stayed in Lhasa and engaged in, in different activities. And speaking of the film, uh, this film uh, has long uh, uh, sort of uh, processes, and uh, we interviewed 108 people uh, leading up to the completion of the film. So I, I just want to, uh, yeah. Та Bukina that <laughs> Tanaja <laughs> So uh, is awarded to host uh, 2008 Olympics. A uh, uh, lot of people were very depressed. Uh, people tried to organize, and because normally Olympics represent equality, freedom, uh, peace, uh, but China is complete opposite of all of the things that Olympic represent. So uh, when we heard this news, a uh, lot of uh, some of us gathered together and we talked, discussed what we could do in order to kind of demonstrate the real situation. I'm the third generation in my family who is also experiencing Chinese, the brutality of Chinese occupation. Uh, so because of that, we uh, try to do something. And also at the time, 
uh, the situation in, in, inside Tibet was very, very tense and Chinese systematically tried to change the way of Tibetan life uh, all the way from culture assimilation to resettlement. At that particular point, there was this huge project of resettling 300 family uh, villages from Golo to Barzong. And those people do not have any alternative source of livelihood. They were forcefully resettled, resettled into Barzong from Golo. And they did not have any land. They did not really have any source of sort of income. And, and they were in, in a very depressed condition. And then, of course, uh, uh, China did not have uh, freedom of press. And then all, all, of, all of this situation so, sort of uh, uh, lead us to think about what we could do in order to sort of uh, show the world what's happening on the ground. And I being the third generation under Chinese occupation suffering under their, their sort of um, uh, systematic uh, destruction of Tibetan culture and way of life. Tanga <laughs> Zuining as a do this ambata meets Hamala Ranging Tonachi Lesha near Tonjeta, Lonia Chukumari near Tonjekula, Bosa Yuni Matri Chintoni Janos on the Shimu, which you are in Mimomo Stevari, Mimomo Tonjuchivari, Mimomo Tandana Tonganani, you are in Mimomo Lavari. Tanajan Azu in Attake Toten Zonjivari, Zonji disamba to Melu Megan Zonjivari, Tonia Tamalini Sura Kurseri, Pontachiva may be gone in Zonji disamba, and in Gulak Manoku Pontas, Hajakoach Konahama Kuba, Lapata Kambati Zula Chajoji. And then, the last one is the same thing. The Gulak Manapukun, the Lapata is the same thing. The Gulak 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 is the same and it's on Hanana Tranajing, that's on Hanan Lutu de Achkumari, Nimarjila to so too much to Likachi Chikoy or Neso may be gone. In Jagita, Nachotan, and it's Slo Levina, that Tranaj and Choton Hana Tua Nanjingi, Dunduchu Sung Rame was Hajako and Ruina, and it's Janazona Chuchin Shuguyova, and it's in Jagini Tony, Lusun Sula Deva. That's what don't be on your command you stang at Tigay, and it Lu Chichimasan Zulata, Nomula, Kumatua, that in Jagi, Kangan Chumbari, and in your tongue to Dunula. So, uh, for this, this, this film is a, is a result for many, many people's hard work because we want to show the world the true situation of Tibetans who are living under Chinese occupation because China always want to demonstrate a very different reality to the world. Uh, that's why we uh, decided to. Uh, interview a lot of people and demonstrate the true uh, conditions of Tibetans uh, under Chinese occupation. And then um, when the film was made, this was film was sent out, but without any evidence, I was arrested. I was then put in jail and then my face was covered, my hand and my feet were chained, and then I was taken uh, into the prison. And then for seven or eight days, sometimes they do not give any water, no food, nothing. They just want me to talk about. It. I don't know what exact exactly they want me to talk about it, but they forced me. They want me to confess something. And then they also, uh, they basically charged me uh, uh, on sedition or separatist. Uh, they accused me of being a separatist. And then I was sentenced for six years and three months. And then as, as a result of 24 or five minutes film that you, you would see, uh, I was not able to uh, see my family for 11 years. I was separated from my, uh, from my family for 11, for 11 years. And after I was released from prison, 
uh, I was in a bigger prison. There was no freedom of movement. There was uh, nothing that I could do, even if I was out of prison. And then later, with a lot of uh, people's have help with a lot of sacrifice and a lot of financial expenses, I was uh, finally able to come to uh, come out to meet my family in 20, uh, 2017. <laughs> Lichinamo <laughs> Nirton that to see JK Jungagina Korchon Chivari, JK Jungagina Korchon Titi Sambata, Jean de Mana, Mombutuari, and Romit Hotong Sopa in the Mombutuari, Taji Chinion, Chinion Sopa, and in Niku Sopa, Tananjenta, Sergopa, Tananjita, Tapritanita, in the Chessmana, Mombuchila, Tuniti Samba, the Kronzo Tonon Shuchimbundunta, Mimombuchi Poton Jachorot in the Samba, Jachorot in the Mombutuari, the Kronzo Loniente, Tonon Shuchi Shaniton, Guinezoti, and Kronzo Tati, Kotongana. Jachuchi, Nigi, that Lujuta de Zuzna, Suchi, Kronzo, Tondriala, Supa, that in the Mongula Tuvari. That is what Samakarisna, Munin, Jitre, Lonian, and Geta, Paupamo, Tizu, Sent, and Yantogi, and in Chikawan Ruina, and in Kronzo, Tononjia, and Tela Jachuchi, and in the Shuchibu, Tombari, Tarigi, Linguti, Tahali, Aguchon, Santra, Nanjingi, Jano, Joinata, Uchem, Mobuchi, Zivarita, Novit, Pernola, Yorita, Nanjing, Azula, Vinia, or Latorinia, that is Uni. Gopa Zuma Tonya, Animugu Chivitanya, that in the Mongo Tranazing, Nomula Tranazinga, Ponone Tranazing, Kangetia Supata, Janus Joina Taco, the Dambasi, I think it, Dambashi Kuyo, Susukawa, Karichin, and the Chokanda Shitano Kongan, Nitan Kanda in a Ponon Gitanda, Nitan Kanda, and Tizu Tomashi and Dudisamba, and it is a coach Lingra in a switching which he wore it, Lingate, Jachuchine, Tranazinga, Jeschigi, Tatana, Nazu Poton, the Tukan Suni, and it. Nenzupari, Tranazenta, Groa, Anis Hani Susubi, Porutupa, Anijon Nutupa, Hotupa, Tranazenta, Gramombu, Chicken Duce, Anni Irogita, SC, Kronzo Tamagin Duce, Jachuchini, Anni Lingatizu Tamatsuspo, Anni Aro, Shuchi, Jombari, Tranazeni, Tandainata, Mututa, Olympic, Kronzo, Totsevari, Totsevaina, Kronzo, Unege, Azokar Shikori, the Tweet. Oh, so, uh, uh, as you know, after 2008, the situation is inside Tibet become much more intense. As we, uh, there were known case of 160 plus self immolations which is a direct indication of the uh, suffering Tibetan people are experiencing under Chinese occupation. And particularly when Xi Jinping came to power, he intensified every effort to assimilate Tibet under larger China and then systematically uh, uh, sort of uh, eradicate the very identity of Tibet, anything that is Tibet. Uh, because of that, as you see that there are so many public intellectuals who are arrested in last few years, Tibetan writers, uh, volunteer teachers, Tibetan artists, Tibetan of any kind who is trying to uh, work in defense of their culture, in defense of their language, in defense of their environment. So the Tibetans are right now cornered in a very, very intense uh, situation. Uh, in that kind of situation, 2022 Olympic is awarded to uh, China again. Uh, and then which uh, 
sort of, of course, led another round of effort from me personally, because I made film in 2008 prior to Olympics and this Olympic, and I are sort of connected in that space, in that sense. And so I started my, uh, this uh, campaign uh, tour, starting from France, traveled to 15 countries in Europe, and uh, also I met a lot of journalists, public intellectual politicians, Tibetan activists, uh, campaigners who are working on the on the costs uh, with so many other allies. I met Uyghur Congress and then all the uh, Tibetan organizations in Europe. Uh, while we are doing that, when I was telling the truth, China sent their own uh, sort of army or their own sort of agent to spread rumors or try to protest against my appearances. And there's evidence of newspaper article that came out in Norway. And then you can tell that in Latvia, there was also a fake journalist tried to protest uh, at one of my appearances. Uh, overall, my tour uh, across Europe for 15 countries was very, very successful. And there were a lot of support for this just cause because I was merely stating the fact and China, the state in fact that China do not want the world to see. Sorry, I spoke a lot and now go to Jigmila. Ang <laughs> uh, so many of the things uh, are covered by Dong Wan Cheng. I have uh, not much left to say, but uh, Dong Wan Cheng and I are uh, kind of a little different. He was born in northern east, northeastern part of Amdo, and I was born in south, a southern part of Amdo. I'm from a nomadic simple nomadic family and he's from uh, a farmer's family. Um, we are kind of geographically a little further apart, but uh, because of our shared uh, purpose or because of uh, our karma, what we call in Buddhism, 
uh, we uh, were basically end up working together on this film. After that, I become a monk, and and then uh, later, you know, uh, we uh, because of these uh, uh, film because of karma or all this uh, whatever shared purpose, we were uh, met under the bless of His Holiness in two thousand six. And then we talked about making film. We heard about people are protesting against award of Olympic to China in 2008. And then we kind of decided to do something. And then beyond our expectation, uh, we were able to interview so many people, this number of people. We didn't initially, we were really uh, a little bit of uh, 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 doubtful in our own sort of effort to reach and interview a lot of people. But the result was beyond our expectation, and this become a very successful 24 minutes film that sort of captivate the true situation of Tibetans in, in Tibet. And on, in the course of making this film, we also realized that Tibetans are willing to uh, uh, march, uh, but we need a, if we have a strong leadership uh, who can. Uh, uh, give them a vision, who can give them uh, a sort of support, and they're ready to go. So in the course of making this film, we realized that people are ready. Uh, so that's what I kind of learned in the process. Mm. Tatanis <laughs> After handing over the uh, all the materials to Tondo and Kiyama, I went back to my monastery, Lamra Monastery, one of the largest monasteries in Amdo. And then I also work with a bunch of monks in the monastery. And, and then all, after multiple arrests, I finally made out to outside. And then now we are together. Uh, and then we see each other. This is also because of uh, our karma. And then I, I don't have much to say. And after, late, after the film, if you, we have questions, we can explore that more. Thank you. Okay, and thank you Jinang, uh, Lo Jigmala, and Tudor Wangchula for sort of setting the, the scene a little bit for us to view the documentary. So we're going to just get started and start viewing it. Um, I did also want to point out that today is the last day, and they just had the um, closing ceremony for Beijing 2022. And at the exact same time, we had our alternative, uh, alternative closing ceremony hosted by um, our lovely Migs here, and including uh, our friend Jeffrey from Hong Kong Democracy Council. And so it's, although the, uh, the Olympics are over, um, you know, our campaigning is not over, our fighting for freedom is not over. And so hopefully this this um, documentary will, sh will show exactly, you know, where the Tibetan spirit is was in 2008, where it is now in 2022, and as we take a look into the future to, uh, for what's to come. Any Tandamazo Lonin that Olympic 
Ado, Okay, make the screen just turn blue. You guys hear? Ani Ne <gülüyor> Kaçalı tutunan hangi şirkette, kaçalı 
そうですね。うん、学生な直から。で、それがかが、よじ、ちゃんすんぐ、かいかどうね、だ。どんだ。うん。たらこう、日本じゃけど、だけ、リステンじゃん、そ、そこの、リスタンが、かいちょ、本地
Kışkırağın diye tona çirkeye fiyanına karşı gittiğinde mağaf kuruna tırnak. Mücuhi sarıca fiyanına rolü mutan çirkeye sarıp kuruna. Dinana zok çeke çoğunu mari. Sazar çoğunu mari. Kazıga nur ne edip çöp nimi güvara sazar meşok zibri de kere mağaf kışkırağ kuruna. Diye tona keçiga tona gülayın zey gönderin de rımbayın zey gönderin. Neşe kurmuşun. Dışıga yana mağabalığına tımgır kuk yavazır. Tam duk mugiri çıdır izey çangına. Mağab tona rumu şarkı uçanga yara çizgile gönderin de. Mücuh sayat hemşe de. Oya, jang saya tamat juga. Ya ramla, yang setara pur, nang agalah kita terima timur tu. Orang macam jang dia saya ni ni. Turut dia kita macam sendok jauh kau ni. Macam yang jauh ni sendok jauh kau kita tak ceri dia di hara tu ni cik kita nak orang orang yang semua tak wujud dia tuh kena jadi. Tijinta dani, kahang cukup cukup tanjung ini dari, cukup dari. Tapi umur mereka, tarik ni dengan yang kecil juga dia harus ingat cukup cukup. Yang dah isar guna lagi. Tapi kahang cukup dari dari cukup cukup ini. Tapi asal asal ini, tahu kalau kita cuma orang dengan cukup kahang lah macam ni dari. Tapi dah semua yang mesti ni. Ia tu hidup juga sih wakil kahang ini mesti cukup juga. Tapi dari kita macam cukup dari kita kacau dia macam ni juga. Tapi kita lah suka rasa ini cukup ni semua itu macam ni. Tapi ini orang dengan cukup kahang lah dengan gomak berasa. Dan mungkin tak yang rasanya semua tu ni tak sih free kita. Ya cuma lucu mungkin. Angalu nyakai. Mungkin cuma lucu macam tu mungkin kesan aku. Oh mungkin kesan aku kerja gelar ni. Ada kesan tu sekarang tu sebab ni ada mahu masuk ke sebab ni mahu jadi kerja kat sana jadi tu sebab. Oh itu tu guna untuk apa mungkin ada macam ni. Mungkin tak terkait kesan aku. Wul mungkin tak kesan aku. Wul sih juga aku sih. Cuma jatuh mahu jadi. Kesan aku. Wul mungkin dia kesan. Tak yang mesti seli dari semua ke. Jadi mesin mesin main cua ke semua. Tapi orang tu nyamuk senjor kan orang dia orang mesti dari tu macam tu dia lagi dah. Tapi gigi na tertiga, cikgu kuih cikgu na tu macam tu lah. Shak, mungkin dah cikgu shak itu shak itu cikgu kuih sir itu tu kuih. Hei ya, tapi cikgu ta, ta orang tu cikgu cin cin zaman ni, ni ni kan cikgu ni yo. Yo, shak itu kuih sir. Shak itu kuih sir. Kuih sir juga yo. Aku ngan tu jadi mesin tu kata shak itu cikgu cikgu esy yang tu di. Hei hei hei. Tapi kata aku ni riba yo di ta orang tu ni ya, kan tu kata shak itu cikgu di. Tapi ngan sar tu orang tu ni cikgu ada cikgu. Hei hei ya. Cikgu orang tu awak. ま、そうし、ま、そうし、ま、そうし、ま、そうし、あらんがんなくずっぱらんばる、あらんがんなくずっぱらんばる、ま、そうし、ま、そうし、あらんがんなくずっぱらんばる、あらんがんなくずっ
Vimeo has become part of my yoke's everyday processes. We are using Vimeo link. Kalkari, <laughs> Jom Чего Tikasin Ladies and gentlemen, His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Kiyatso. Ты где-то не
So let's say you have to read an incredibly long email from your boss that you have to finish before the big Слово <laughs> Tangga 
issues with this entire campaign um but it's been sort of crazy to see that it was so difficult for them all to get the interviews from the folks back in 2008 you know and considering now that the information blackout has gotten so much worse inside tibet and considering what's happening you know in east Turkestan, and hong kong and southern mongolia and so many more places it's um it's quite alarming to see um you know what the situation looks like right now um, but with that, I'm going to open the floor. I know a couple of folks submitted questions um, in the forms, but I'm going to just like open the floor up in case folks have questions and would personally like to just ask um, either to the Wangshinla or go to Jimila. And if we can um, keep the answers a little bit shorter so we can go through maybe like a couple more questions, that would be great. Uh, So folks can either unmute or raise their hands and ask a question. can you ask it in English too so that when we will hear the responses they know what the question was? Yeah, um, um yeah. can you guys hear me? Oh, um uh when filming 
you had to ask a lot of Tibetans and some said yes, some said no. And so I was just wondering, the of those who said no, or were you ever afraid when you were asking Tibetans that some may go ahead and like tell the Chinese government because then essentially your project um, would um, be in danger of being ruined and you may be in danger of you know, being detained before your project came to fruition. Tanga Tapada 99% of Tibetans are uh, very united. Uh, we all are suffering under Chinese occupation equally, and uh, everybody trusts each other. So I never, uh, it never occurred to me that they would uh, reveal a project to Chinese government. Uh, of course, uh, Chinese government tried to divide Tibetans by uh, creating a suspicious uh, sort of rumors around and try to divide Tibetans, but of all, I never personally felt that uh, it would ever happen. Uh, right now, of course, after, particularly after the f uh, uh, film was made, uh, Chinese uh, put a lot of uh, 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 sort of announcements saying that this money is awarded for people giving information. And uh, these days, particularly, uh, Tibetans are afraid of trusting each other because of uh, uh, policies that uh, came, came about, about creating a sort of division and creating suspicion among each other in Tibet. Shinatikabdilajanor <laughs> Uh, apart from what uh, Dundu mentioned, I also had a concern not about uh, trusting people, but more about if uh, it's not necessarily uh, I was scared of myself being detained or arrested, it's more about uh, government uh, kind of knowing what's happening and interrupting. Uh, the process of making and coming the projection a project to come into free fruition. So I was very much concerned about that, and also um, concerned about people who were giving interviews. Uh, thank you for that question, Mix. Um, if anyone else has a question, please feel free to raise your hand or unmute yourself and ask. Hi, uh, can I ask a question? Go for it. Okay, yep. Uh, and my question is just, uh, well, actually, to preface this, thank you so much for doing your work. It's a selfless uh, venture into Tibet, and, you know, your sacrifices that you made are worth it for the entire activism movement and also the Tibet movement in general as well. So thank you so much for that. 
My question is, in regards to the specific project that you worked on, do you have any future goals? How are you going to implement those, this video onto those future goals as well? Uh, ก็เลยรองลีเซนจิเลกะจิเรสโซโซกะตุนะโซโซกะเดตุเดนเอ่อซัมบะมาตันเชมิเชมบะตันเดตุระซัมบะตันเดปอปะกะจิปอกะทับ
but eventually I would like to combine these two together, put together so that we have a complete sort of understanding of all pieces of this film. Uh, and of course, the situation, the other sort of commitment that I have for myself is to continuously work on the Tibet, Tibetan issue because that's, that's something that we all are working on and this something still continues and Tibet is still under China. So this definitely uh, be something that I'd be working on throughout my life. Uh, I look forward to watching that. Uh, to Yungi <laughs> だって、ジョルジェゴマラ、ダマボスクワク、カンカンタドネ、テリザネ、ダンジェゴマゴバナナ、ナジョマボスクワク、ダニャムレプチネ、タチ、トソソマプレプチチ、テンデンガスウスマ
If not, there were a couple from the doc, and I think one of them was really interesting. Um, it asked about, um, are there any updates on the folks who were in the documentary? Maybe a lot uh, like they were being in their safety or anything like that. Uh Tatinonimi so all of the uh, uh, individuals that we saw in the film, uh, some of them already passed away. Uh, some of them, the younger uh, folks uh, who interviewed, some of them were arrested right after the film was uh, was released. They were detained for a month or less uh, questioned. And uh, the person who phoned me uh, while I was traveling uh, had uh, constant sort of police harassment whenever there was a big occasion coming on in the, uh, just in the just before 10th March or there's a big celebration happening in China. He's constantly monitored. He's harassed by the police. So uh, so yeah, the situation. And there are so many other who are not yet uh, sort of. Uh, Released, they're still in the material form. Oh, that's all. I don't um, so, um, oh shit, there's a cold in my voice. Can you hear me? Okay, go uh, Hi, uh, uh, my name is uh, Feng Suo, Zhou Feng Suo. I'm, uh, I'm glad to join uh, you here. I, and I, I want to uh, say hi to uh, Wang Xing. Hi, uh, I hi. think I believe we, we met in uh, San Francisco. Uh, Years ago, yeah. Where are you now? Tinsan kao yu sang ngayang lo kasi jingwo ni San Francisco ni two days. Tinsan chou kao yu sang. Yeah, ngay tan da San Francisco da yu chi. Ah, still San Francisco. A good place, you know. Uh, in winter, it, it's freezing cold outside here. San Francisco is much better. Uh, sorry, yeah, I missed the uh, um, the uh, show, uh, most part of it, uh, I, I, but, uh, I know what it's about. I, uh, I really admire your tenacity uh, in uh, pursuing this. It's important uh, yeah, to, uh, to tell the stories of those who suffer. And especially uh, for now, yeah, they don't have a voice and uh, um, Movies like this is very valuable uh, uh, in spreading the world's raising awareness. Uh, it's great you are uh, uh, keep keeping doing this. Uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, I have no. Oh, sorry, I have no specific uh, questions, but just a quick message for for Dundu. Um, yeah, um, I think we met too in 2018, like at Speaker Nancy Pelosi's um, presidio meeting. And then um, it was such an honor to see you in the, at that time. And then, um, yeah, um, just on behalf of my folks in San Francisco uh, from Chinese Democratic Education Foundation um, and the Humanitarian China, 
we want to, um, I mean, just our, send our uh, best wishes and blessings to you and then to the other filmmakers too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh uh, the San Francisco ki jaru ki ta mato tongye wa sopa tong sama mo ni chorong la katu na trashi de le yo ni chorong le kala ma jo yo sa. O sone na ba nyeo te ji chi. Tro ta tong ni jaw pe gao chong. It's very nice to see both of you virtually today and I really uh, appreciate your comments. Thank you guys. Thank you. Um, I think it went a little bit past the time, but <laughs> apologies on that with all the technical difficulties we had. But I just wanted to, again, extend a big, big thank you to Tuna Mongchula and Goji Mila for taking the time to be here with us today. And especially, I wanted to re-congratulate Tuna Mongchula for being nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> And the last request I had for today was um, we wanted to take a photo to be used for social media. So folks like can turn their cameras off or if they like need to turn it off, like do what you need to, but I will just do a countdown. <laughs> Okay, Jake, <laughs> oh, one. Whoa, sorry, I was not ready for that. Konda, <laughs> alright. Jake, me, boom. Okay, and sorry, one last request. Um, I know that Tudo Moshila, when he was traveling in Europe, he was asking folks to hold up like a four and a five, a four for free and a five for Tibet. So I thought maybe we can do one photo with a four and a five on our hands like this. But that all right. <laughs> I can't do it because I'm taking the screenshot, but. <laughs> okay. uh, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, I'm almost setting up. Okay. And <laughs> three. Hey, thank you everyone so much. Thank you for joining today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>